Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make chicken adobo. My style. My way. And I actually teach my adobo, chicken adobo recipes. It's Filipino adobo recipes. To my Filipino friends, they all cooking my way because they said my, my recipe is better than their mama's. So yeah. So if you're Filipino out there, haven't tried my Filipino adobo recipe yet. You definitely need to try. So you will need this four pounds of chicken thigh or whole chicken or whatever cut of the chicken you prefer. So you will need four pounds, but I highly recommend it to use chicken thigh or chicken legs or wings that has a bone in and skin on because there's all the flavors coming from. You can use a whole chicken or like me, chicken thigh or mix of chicken thigh and chicken legs, or however you wanna do. Chicken breast is good too, but hey, I'm a, a dark meat kind of girl, so yeah, let's keep that, keep that, keep that there, okay? <laughs> I'm going to sear them actually on my cast iron pan or Dutch oven pot, large pot. I'm gonna sear them first with some three tablespoons of cooking oil that I've been heating over medium high heat for a couple minutes. Place the chicken skin side down and sear the chicken about three to five minutes or until the chicken skin is nice golden brown and crisp it. Crisp it up. So meanwhile the chicken is going, I'm going to make the sauce. So in a larger mixing bowl, we will need three quarter cup of soy sauce. Uh, um, and if you have a Filipino soy sauce, go ahead and please use it. But you can use any other soy sauce too. That's totally fine. Let me taste the Filipino soy sauce. Mm. You know, Filipino soy sauce is a little, little sweeter and a little more like a kind of darker flavor. Not darker in color, but darker in flavor. But um, yeah, I mean, you can use other soy sauce too, but I think a Filipino soy sauce makes it really, really good, this recipe. And half cup of vinegar. You can use white vinegar, rice vinegar, apple vinegar, but I'm gonna use this cane vinegar, also the Filipino vinegar. I think it makes it really, really good. Filipino adobo is all about savory, garlicky, and sour. They got to have, it got, it, it got, it, it has got to have the sourness. Oh my gosh, can I speak English today? I've been learning uh, French on Rodera Stone, no sponsor. I've been like learning bonjour and gakxiong, gakxiong bois. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gakxiong, but you know what I mean. I'm, 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 I'm the thumb. Is that right? <laughs> I'm the very beginning of a French learner, don't judge me. Okay, anyways, let's add, it's one of my secrets, tablespoon of fish sauce. That's gonna change the whole entire, the savoriness game in here. And half cup of sake. So this is also my touch that I said that this is my style of chicken adobo that is all my Filipino friends are friends, not friends. Friends are cooking. Trust me, this sake in here, this recipe, it makes it's a game changer. Trust me, you've got to try. But if you don't want to use alcohol in your cooking, go ahead and just use a half cup of water. You you will need uh, some kind of liquid if you're not gonna use sake, either sake or water. But highly recommended to use sake. I mean, if you have a soju, go ahead and use soju too. Three tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna sweeten this up a little bit but not too sweet. We just need that balance of the savory, tangy, and sweet, and you know, all the flavor together. And one third cup or one quarter cup. If one third cup is too much garlic, well then use one quarter cup, but I'm gonna use one third cup of chopped garlic. And thank you, Jacob, for chopping garlic while I was putting my makeup on. <laughs> Maybe a little more. Oh, this is gonna be super duper garlicky. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So excited. Now, we will need some bay leaf. So dry or fresh bay leaf, doesn't matter. You will need four bay leaves. Another my secret, lime or lemon zest. Because this has like the tanginess from the vinegar, the lime or lemon zest actually makes sense in this recipe, it's so good. Oh, this gesture is not really doing that good. Let me grab my trusty, trusty great uh, gesture. There you go. Lastly, some black pepper. Mix everything together. And this is the sauce. 
Okay, I think I need to flip over the chicken and going to pour this sauce all over to the pot. Bring the sauce to a boil, then reduce the heat to medium-low and simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. I honestly totally forgot to do this step because I was so busy taking care of the cameras and audience and stuff, but um, I recommend you to actually tap out some of the oil, the chicken fat on the bottom, or save it for later cooking for other stuff because chicken fat is so good when you're like just simply making fried egg. Um, but yeah, I will tap up some of the oil out if you don't like too much oil in the sauce. After the cooking time is up, remove the lid and pour the sauce on top of the chicken using a spoon to coat the chicken evenly with this delicious adobo sauce. You wanna cook about five minutes without the lid while you're pouring the sauce on top of the chicken. All right, I brought some rice. We are ready to eat. I chopped some green onion and some cilantro for freshness for my adobo. So I'm gonna grab my adobo. Okay, are you ready to see this? Are you f***ing? In my world, world I don't worry, darling I just smile Cause you're by my side And now your eyes Open up every morning To the love that shines in mine And I see it in yours too So now I sing to you when you go and leave me here all alone. Put some cilantro. Maybe some green onion. It's up to you. You don't have to, but chicken. And the sauce on the top of the rice too. And for, for mine, I'm gonna put extra cilantro and green onion to eat with some rice. Put the juice on the rice? Yeah. Not too much, but I just did all, just enough for myself. He likes extra, just juice or sauce. Green. Okay, so I'm putting mine this on yours. More? That's yeah, that's good. good. Well, you cooked it really good last time on the live. I know, that's what I mean with. You did really good. One of the best chicken that you will put in your mouth. Seriously. It's like, if you're like, wait a minute, that's not an adobo chicken. You know what? Here's. What does it mean it's not adobo? It's no. adobo. My Filipino friends are approved. I know. Some people will be like, that's not how I do it. You know what? It doesn't matter if this is how you do it. It's freaking delicious, man. Mm hmm. Everybody, everyone cooks to have a different recipes too. Mm. And all my Filipino friends' recipe is my adobo recipe. <laughs> Mm. So Definitely with the dark 
Like, I can just eat the juice and the rice. Like, I don't even need the chicken. The lime juice and the cilantro on top, mm. too? Mm. Oh my gosh. Let the mama first. Don't tell me, mama. Mm. This is so good. You can't bake this. <laughs> you put this in your mouth and you're like, yeah, it's okay. No. <laughs> There's no way. Try it, there you go. Like this. Mm. It's alright. That's a winner winner chicken dinner right there. All day, every day. Amazing. You can definitely make this recipe electronic pressure cooker or slow cooker. Mm. I mean, I've never done this, so I don't know how long it will take, but you can do it. But they really don't need, even need to babysitting because a lot of um, the sauce, it doesn't need to babysitting. You put it out there for 20 minutes and you forget about it. As long as you remember it. Timer, timer. Why is it so well? I'm also upset that I didn't make this for a long time. What is wrong with me? Every day. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, we like ignored you for a little bit. Mm. We're being so rude right now. The whole house must be good. So good, guys. So good. Guys, um, I mean, we served with uh, cooked jasmine rice, but my garlic rice or garlic noodles will be really good, or any simple cooked rice will be really good too. I mean, I mean, if you're on a diet of low carb, maybe cauliflower rice or brown rice, those are good too. Ah, oh, but to me, jasmine rice is a winner, winner with my chicken adobo. Guys, if you liked my chicken adobo recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. Oh no, I give myself a thumbs up because this is so delicious. I mean, I give my all my videos thumbs up anyways because I think it's all delicious. <laughs> but yeah, if you drooled, you got hungry, come on now, you craving chicken adobo now? Come on now, thumbs up. I mean, but if you don't like it, some reason, thumbs down, that's fine too, let me know. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sangyang Longas, and this is my husband Jacob, Jacob Longas. And this is Asian at home. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Mwah. <laughs> uh, Oh, excuse me. If you try my recipe, go ahead and take a picture or video. Uh, share on my on your Instagram story or Instagram post or Facebook post. Tag me Samyang Longet so I can go see it. Like your picture, comment, and shout out to my Instagram story as well. Okay, I love you guys. So good. From like a view deep down. So good! Feeling <laughs> fine Cause you said this is all you want No more playing, playing, playing all this Waiting, waiting, waiting I call you mine I know you feel the same as I do No more playing, wishing, waiting Taking, taking, taking